Hey you! <laughs> yes you, who else would I be talking to? Have you ever wanted to animate like all those cool animator people you see on YouTube? And you have absolutely no idea what you're doing? Because same! I, I, I mean, I, I, know how to, I know how to animate, definitely. Well, you're in luck because today I'll be showing you how to animate on your device completely for free. All you need is a phone or tablet and your fingers. If you don't have fingers, you're kind of out of luck here. The first thing you'll need to do is download this app called Flip a Clip. Flip a Clip was the first app I used to animate and it's probably the best free animation software that I've used. Hashtag not sponsored. Please sponsor me. Now, once it's downloaded, enter the app. I really like this new update because it's a lot more customizable and there's a dark theme which helps my eyes not burn off when I'm animating at 3am. Now click the plus sign at the bottom. Now we get to customize the project variables. Step 1. Give it a great name. Wow, that's uh... That's something. The background is automatically white now, but you can choose from a set of backdrops or import your own. For canvas size, I use 1080p for my YouTube videos, so I'm gonna go ahead and click that one. FPS, or frames per second, basically means how choppy or smooth the animation will look based on the amount of frames in a second of animation. I usually use 24 FPS, as do most YouTube animators, but feel free to go lower or higher. The higher the FPS, the more frames you'll have to draw, but the better it'll look in the end. Alright, we are all set now, go ahead and press Create Project, and now we are in the animation interface. I'll start by explaining the tools on the left hand side. This here is the Drawing Tool menu. I use the pen, aka the default sketching tool, but by clicking on it you can adjust size, opacity, wait, oh, that, <laughs> and color. Bam. That's a thick line. <laughs> Next, eraser for getting rid of life's mistakes. Don't bother trying it on yourself, I already have. You can adjust the feathering, opacity, and size of the eraser tool, similar to the sketch tools. Next is the selection tool. If you have a part of a drawing you want to move or change or something, you just draw a selection around it and then you can liquefy it to your discretion. Below that is the fill tool or paint bucket. It fills in areas with a solid color. Now you can adjust the full threshold, so if there are little gaps that you don't feel like correcting, lower the threshold and the full will stay inside the lines instead of covering the entire friggin' canvas. <laughs> Finally, we have the text tool. Pretty simple, just enter some text. Uh, that's basically it. <laughs> you can pick the font, color, and size, which is pretty cool. Wow. Up here we have the ruler tool. You can choose from a line ruler, a circle ruler, or a rectangular ruler. You can adjust each of them to your needs and all you need to do is draw while it's activated and your lines will be as straight or as curvy as you need. Next we have the copy and paste buttons. You can copy and paste frames as well as selections, so if I went and did a little scribble and I wanted to only copy the scribble, I would do that. Whoa, there's two of them. Here are the undo and redo buttons. If you don't know what that does, I am seriously concerned. The reset view button. If you accidentally made your canvas all weird by zooming out or tilting it, press this to go back to the original location. Next, the ever so ominous three dots. These are kind of like the settings. Here you can edit project settings, view all the frames and mass duplicate or delete them, edit onion skin, edit the drawing grid, add an image, or add a video. And no, onion skin is an actual onion skin, that would be really weird. Also, when you're all done with your project, press make movie to export it. Bottom right, we have the skip to beginning and end buttons as well as the play button. Here's the layer manager where you can, I don't know, manage layers, you know, add them, move them around, and like, delete them and stuff. Wow. Bottom left is the sound window. It contains a bunch of different audio tracks to put sound clips in. For example, if you wanted to import an audio file, you would press the button on the right here and import the file. There's also an audio library and an audio recorder, which I'm going to use right now. Okay, um, um, I, I like chicken. Um, I, I like chicken. Oh wow, I love that. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna drag it to any track as suggested. Uh, I'm gonna trim off the beginning bit because no one needs that. And we have... I like chicken. Chicken. And then we have a great audio here. Um, I, I like chicken. Um, I, I like... That's great, okay. Now, I am going to try to animate that for you guys. First of all, delete whatever this is. Bam. What? Ha oh, oh. <laughs> Wrong layer. Yeah, see, I'm such a pro at flip a clip, I know. I know how to use it so well. Huh, <laughs> too thick. Oh, I just realized I had, like, the wrong background. 
Well, that's that's great. That's just great, Anna. And these here are the keyframes that I'm just going to be drawing first before I draw the in-betweens. And yes, I know that I can't draw hands. It's, it's like a weakness of mine. <laughs> that looks so weird. Well, that's going to have to do. Oh, I just realized this is floating off the bottom a bit here. Unacceptable. Wow, that's great. Now we need to animate the face changing from this to this, because otherwise it looks very choppy and weird. Wow, that actually doesn't look so horrible. <laughs> I cannot draw. <laughs> wow, yeah, this is this is great. Um, I, I like chicken. Um, I, I like ch uh, 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 Um, I, I, I like it. Always remember to add some blinking because otherwise their little dot eyes are gonna dry out. Yeah, that looks very weird, but who cares? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, like, ch chicken. Um, I, I like chicken. Um, I, I like chicken. Well, that looks great. Um, I, I like chicken. Um, I, I like chicken. Um, I, I like chicken. Uh, <laughs> all right. Now, as I said, we are going to make a movie. And our movie, a uh, hi hi, is going to be an MP4, and it's not gonna have a flip a clip watermark because I paid for the pro version. But uh, if you just downloaded it, you probably haven't. But I recommend doing it. Oh look, it's a whole one second long. Okay, we're gonna make the movie. Wow! I can save the photos. <laughs> And now you can see the final product. Um, I, I like chicken. Um, I, I like chicken. Well, I think that worked great. If you have any questions about anything flip a clip, ask me. And flip a clip, if you're seeing this, you could like, uh, I don't know, maybe <laughs> sponsor me. <laughs>